why are we here? Are you talking theologically? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, <laughs> no, no, I wasn't talking about physically. To, to work out our karma. Geographically. <laughs> we're here to um, to engage with each other in a way that people might find helpful to them to uh, observe, mm -hmm. to get the chance to know what somebody who wants to represent them in Congress thinks and what kind of human being he is. Or, um, Fair enough. So, okay. I, I think that uh, we're aware that people don't trust their government these days. And uh, there are probably pretty good reasons for that. And one of the things that I think uh, a good conversation show is whether a person's for real or not. Okay. Andy, I've looked at your uh, website, looked at some of your press releases, and I've got a couple of questions. Uh, you said in, in some of your press releases that we need a government that is dedicated to meeting the country's big challenges. Would that include our serious unemployment problem that could be ameliorated by implementing another job creating federal stimulus program. Could you talk about that a little bit? Yes. <laughs> Would you like for me to? Yes. Uh, so the question is, do I think that we should have another job creating stimulus? Yes. Uh, yes, I don't, uh, it, it, I don't know that I believe we're going to, but it's been uh, clear, I think, well, back in February of 2009, one of the most able commentators on these matters, uh, Paul Krugman, wrote very lucidly about the magnitude of the uh, collapse in demand in our economy. It was a hole of $2 trillion. And he was saying that the stimulus that was being proposed was roughly half the size that would be required. And that if that was all that was done, and this doesn't even take into account that it wasn't ideally slanted uh, in terms of the components of the stimulus, that two years down the line, employment would still be high and that the Democrats and Obama would be in political trouble. Now, it's not clear that he could have done a uh, 1.2 or $1.3 trillion stimulus, but politically it was certainly a mistake not to even try. And uh, now here we are. What Krugman said come to pass has come to pass. We still have an economy in which businesses and uh, individuals are not spending. We still have our political discourse acting as if the government's way of dealing with its budget should be just like a family or a business when that is not the case. It should be doing the opposite of what the fam families and businesses do. It should, be, it should be lean in the fat times and fat in the lean times. Uh, so yes, we, uh, uh, there is a, cons a real chance that we are in, like Japan was, for a lost decade. And uh, the only thing that will get us out is if we, uh, if we fill the hole in demand. Because if, if businesses will not hire or invest when they don't have a demand for more of their products, individuals will not spend when they're unemployed or are fear of being unemployed. And so the... Uh, government has to compensate. And we also have a lot of things in our country that need work. We have uh, infrastructure that's uh, given a D several years ago by some National Society of Engineers. So it's a perfect time to be investing in, in things, not just digging holes and filling them in, but actually doing work that needs to be done. Interest rates are as low as they'll ever be. So it's a perfect time. All we lack is the uh, political uh, dynamic in our country that can see things clearly and act accordingly. Thank you. Andy, what prompted you personally to uh, get into politics at this point? It wasn't my desire for a political career. <laughs> uh, a couple things. I think that our country now faces a crisis as grave as any in our history. I'm not exaggerating. I really think that the nature of our society is changing in directions that we Americans should 
reject and turn around. The second part of the answer is that even though I haven't been a politician, I have been doing something for the last half century. And that something has equipped me to understand what's going on in a way that if I had spent my life doing other things, I wouldn't be able to do. I think that the main thing that will help this country is if the American people understand what's going on. And I felt uh, and feel a need to do what I can to explain to people what the dynamic is that's arisen out of our power system that is crippling our society. We are not making good decisions, and there's a reason for that. I think I understand the reason. Another thing is, my dad told me when I was in my teens, and I talked about whether maybe I would be a politician or a diplomat, he said, Andy, you're too straightforward. You'll never, you, know, you, you like to tell it the way you see it. You're not going to be a politician. And I think he was right. But this is a particular moment in history where we're not getting, we're getting lies from the Republicans. The Democrats are leaving important truths unspoken. The truth is really quite unrepresented. So it may be the moment in which somebody like me, who's really dedicated to telling the truth like he sees it, speaking from the heart, actually has a role to play in the political arena. So for all those reasons, it seemed to me this is a moment I might be able to contribute to solving this crisis, and I don't want to go to my grave thinking my children are, and grandchildren aren't living in the kind of country I grew up in. I might have done something back in 2011, 2012, but I took the easy path and didn't do it. I'm not going to, I'm going to know I gave it everything I got, and maybe, sometimes the unexpected happens, maybe something can catch fire. Because the truth is powerful, it's, and we see that the truth can be powerful. Once in a while, the truth starts a fire and it burns. You know, there's this guy in Tunisia who killed himself uh, half a year ago because of despair over unemployment. Who would have thought that a, a large part of the planet would overturn because of one man's yeah. frustration? And doing? You never know what could happen. I'm going to cut.